Hey guys, so this is what if Robin had a symbiote part two. Now, first part, of the first two episodes, and I'm going to be continuing with episode three and four. Now, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Now, we'll be, now after this video, I'm going to be uploading what if, what if the Ghost Rider was in Young Justice. But enough talking about future what else I'm going to be making. Let's just get into it, guys. Now we start our story off with the beginning of episode three, season one. Welcome to Happy Harbor. Now we start our story off at the docks at Stars at Star pretty much Star City. And we see pretty much Speedy while well, going up against well thugs of pretty much well Tombstone. But I don't remember his name. I'm pretty sure his name's Tombstone or something. So basically Speedy takes out his goons or interrupts his whole tire well. Well, his old tire what was it? Well, pretty much, if it was his drug deal or whatever. Basically, we not really specify like what they're doing, but basically, you see that pretty much Speedy takes on Tombstone, and pretty much trying to take him out. Now, pretty much, Speedy, pretty much gets you know pretty much help from Robin, Aqualad, and Kid Flash. Basically, them taking down the thugs and Tombstone going up against the well, four oh, uh, not the trio, but. Basically, Speedy. Now, Speedy shoots pretty much multiple arrows towards Tombstone. Basically, Aqualad and the rest of the team trying to help out. But Speedy shoots an arrow towards Tombstone, basically making it a paste around Tombstone, pretty much immobilizing him. Now, pretty much, well, Robin, Speedy, and Aqualad pretty much start talking to him. And pretty much, well, he pretty much doesn't want to be on the team. The bit of short, basically him saying, I don't want to be on your little well, Junior Justice League team, pretty much still being a psychic of all. Now, basically, Robin pretty much has the same reaction as last time. And basically, t Ro pretty much, Speedy walks off. Now, Speedy walks off into the shadows, and he's, well, just left. He disappeared. Now, basically, we get hit with the intro, and basically, we get switched off. Pretty much, the team coming back, or Robin and Speedy, a Robin and Wally going to Mount Justice, basically then meeting up with pretty much uh, Megan Aqualad and pretty much uh, Megan Aqualad and Superboy. Now basically they all see Red Tornado come back to Mount Justice, basically going to him to get another mission or get a mission, their first mission as a team. Now basically, pretty much Red Tornado tells them that there's no mission. And pretty much walks off. Megan tries to read his mind, but you know remembers that he's biogenetic. Not really biogenetic, but he's a robot. Can't really mem you can't really read his mind. Now basically, we pretty much we see them walk off, and pretty much they just go off for the rest of their day, trying to become well closer, and pretty much try to find out more about each other. Now pretty much as they're doing that, pretty much we see Megan gives them a little tour around Mount Justice. Now as I get into the tour, Robin Speedy. Pretty much the whole conversation goes exactly the same as, well, canon. Basically, doing this, pretty much we see pretty much Megan, or was it Sarah Boy, sniff and say, uh, you know, do you, do you smell smoke? Basically, Megan remembering that she tried to cook, cook cookies, and basically he finds out, he flies to pretty much the kitchen, seeing that they're burnt. And basically, pretty much Robin says, oh, look at that. Basically, while eating the burnt cookie since, you know, he's a high metabolism, he's a speedster. And basically, pretty much Megan says, thank you. And pretty much, they start talking about, well, what, it, what are your real names? Basically, Alcalad saying, my real name is pretty much, well, I don't even remember his real name. Wally says, my real name is Wally. And basically, Bat pretty much, Wally says, you know, about the whole time, I think about how Batman doesn't want to know. He doesn't want nobody to find out who's, you know, the secret identity of Robin. And basically, pretty much... Well, Grayson not really, you know, caring. And basically, Superboy walks off, pretty much making him, pretty much psychically telling him, you know, don't worry, Superboy, we'll find your Earth name. Basically, Superboy saying, they get out of my head. And her using the rest of it telepathy to talk to the rest of the team, saying, I don't get it. On Mars, we talk like this all the time. Pretty much, Aqualad says to stop. But pretty much, since the symbiote doesn't really like it, and pretty much, since the symbiote does technically, well, shield. Pretty much Robin of multiple, you know, psychic attacks. And this is the first time he ever got, you know, psychically touched 
or psychically pretty much connected with a Martian or any type of psych telepathic creature. Basically, the symbiote pretty much, well, well, fought back, basically shooting a tendril towards Megan, pushing her back. Now, pretty much the rest of the team tells her to stop, and basically, well, after that, she says, I have another idea. Basically, them, you know, pretty much Megan being kind of distraught and pretty much being, you know, kind of scared of Robin now. But Robin says, I'm, I'm sorry, basically him helping Megan up. Now, basically, Megan and the rest of the team, you know, pretty much talk a little bit more, and she tells them I have one thing to show you guys. Her taking the her taking them to pretty much a landing dock, pretty much showing them, well, the bio ship. Now basically the bio ship is shown and basically they do their whole time, you know, they get into the bio ship and they see well the well the bio ship. The cheers, how it morphs and pretty much how it's you know super cool. Wally and Robin sit back and pretty much see how you know the bio ship's pretty cool, seeing that the Pretty much seatbelts are automatic and all this other stuff. And basically, pretty much Megan flies out and shows them, well, what the bio ship can do. Flying around, flying in circles, and also pretty much doing a bunch of other stuff. And basically, Robin, you know, starts talking. And basically, eventually, the conversation leads up to Robin, you know, asking something about, you know, pretty much, well, they do any Martian shape shifting. And basically, after, you know, he asked about the whole type of phasing thing with, you know, Megan. And basically... Megan does some shape shifting and basically shape shifts into Robin and Wally. Now basically, pretty much Robin says, pretty cool. Now basically he says, that's not really going to fool anybody. And pretty much he says it's harder to shape shift or shift into other gingers. Now basically he says, mm, okay. And basically he asks more about, well, anything else. Now basically Megan also asks about the symbiote. And pretty much he says, well, I could show you something. Him shifting into his symbiote form. He shifts into his symbiote form and basically shows him a couple of, you know, items. Him pretty much, what was it? Him pretty much um, manifesting weapons. Like, him manifesting some symbiote objects like a spear. Some, you know, weapons like a spear, a shield, some, you know, hand size or blade like Carnage, like Carnage does. And also... Hand swords, pretty much the same weapons, the classic weapons, pretty much Carnage makes. And also a couple other, you know, symbiote like uh, batarangs, pretty much made out of the symbiote. Basically, also him pretty much, you know, showing off a couple other things. And basically, pretty much, you know, Megan's kind of, you know, impressed. And basically, as they continue off with this whole entire thing, they get a call from pretty much Red Tornado about a, about pretty much a distress call near Happy Harbor about some sort of tornado. And basically, they go down there to see what's going on. And basically, they see a, a tornado hits them in, like, pure daylight. Don't even know how that's possible. And basically, they get hit down to the ground. Now, Megan safely, narrowly lands, pretty much them landing and pretty much... It comes to the conclusion and them pretty much landing down to the ground, seeing that the tornado is being caused by some sort of, you know, source. Now basically, you look around and pretty much they see that Robin just disappeared. Robin swinging into the pretty much building and pretty much fighting up against Twister. Basically, him having a symbiote already activated in a symbiote form. He, when he, you know, pretty much the rest of the team shows up, he's actually not getting hit back and forth by Twister, but he's actually going up against Twister pretty good. Him throwing multiple webs. And also throwing multiple type of slashes and cuts with his symbiote type weapons. Basically, yeah, he going up against Twister. As the team shows up, Twister uses one last bit of, you know, energy. or well, a big blast of wind. Pushing Robin out of the building and seeing that Robin was pretty, pretty, you know, good opponent. Basically, them going up against Twister. And pretty much them going up against Twister. They go up against Twister. And pretty much Twister starts to fold all of them. Starts to fold all of them. I mean, like, all of them. And basically... They get hit back and forth like ragdolls. And basically what Robin does as he gets back into the building, he goes full on symbiote, like straight up mad mode. Basically, Toxic being really frustrated on why, well, Twister straight up just folded them. Or folded, you know, him and Robin. Now basically, Toxin goes monster mode. Him becoming the same size as pretty much... Well, normal Venom, like the big bulky Venom. Basically, him becoming the same size as Twister, 
him running towards Twister, grabbing him from the chest, and throwing him outside the building, leaving big middle bruises or dents onto Twister's chest. A Twister gets out of the building, and basically Twister tries to take down more of the team. Since Robin is more of a big hitter, right near the same, you know, pretty much, well, power level as Superboy, basically, they start to go up against Twister. Now, pretty much, Wally also steps in as well, going up against Twister, and he still gets folded, basically making grabbing him with his with her telepathic abilities, not letting Wally get folded on the spot. And basically, they go up against, well, pretty much Twister more and more, and Twister starts to win the fight pretty quickly. And basically, as Twister, you know, pulls off another move after the team tries to think, or after the team thinks he's, you know, pretty much, what was it, Red Tornado trying to train them or, you know, pretty much give them a fake mission. Basically, they let their guard down, but they soon see that this is a different, or this isn't Red Tornado and he's a Twister. Basically, him pulling off a move that Red Tornado couldn't, making a whole Cyclone type row, Cyclone Storm. And basically, pretty much, Robin says, this is what, this isn't Red Tornado. He can't do this. Basically, him making lightning and lightning striking Robin right in the chest. Basically, making the symbiote go into Robin's body and knocking Robin out. Now, pretty much, pretty much the team gets kind of, you know, saved when pretty much, well, Megan pits her bio ship over them. Basically, making it go camouflage, making Twister just go away, thinking that they're gone. Now, basically, pretty much they get mad at Megan for some reason. Basically, I don't remember the reason. Probably the same reason as Cannon. And basically, we see pretty much Superboy gets angry at Megan, and pretty much they start to go. Now, basically, as they do, as they leave, pretty much um, Aqualad's kind of, you know, not really on Megan's side, but still comforts Megan, saying it's okay. And basically, they walk off, or they run off, going after Twister, and basically, we see Twister make more, pretty much, well, havoc at Happy Harbor. Now, basically, he starts, you know, using his tornado abilities to pretty much throw away, or throw, pretty much, well, throw straight up, well, boats, and also other objects with his tornado abilities, for his wind, his wind manipulation. And basically, he comes up against Wally. Now, pretty much, Wally and Superboy jump up alongside Robin. Robin's still in Monster Venom mode. Basically, him going up against Twister, punching him left and right, using his symbiote abilities, you know, Karn style, plus the sides of Toxin, basically throwing more attacks towards pretty much both of the team. Now, pretty much Megan tries to tell Red Tornado this, but basically finds or makes a plan. Now, basically, as Aqualad, Surreal Boy, and Robin are going up against Twister, also alongside Wally, basically... These are the get folded, but they actually get an advantage up against Twister since, you know, they have a whole entire, you know, Robin with a symbiote on their side. Now, pretty much Robin still has his Robin gadgets on him, plus his symbiote abilities to manifest or pretty much augmentate those pretty much those gadgets, kind of like Agent Venom. And basically him, well, pretty much upping his toxin form, adding on pretty much. Well, the same, what was it, him adding on familiar elements to his gadgets. Basically, him still having his utility belt on him. Him merging it with Toxin's suit. Basically, Toxin having a pretty much a Batman or pretty much an utility belt outline on his pretty much waist with his symbiote form. Now, basically, he starts taking out Batman gadgets, then being covered in symbiote. Basically, it becoming a little bit more stronger. Now, basically, he starts throwing multiple batarangs, him for going back into his normal symbiote form. And basically what happened is pretty much, well, pretty much Toxin would shoot more, pretty much, attacks towards Red, towards pretty much Twister. And Twister would have shot some sort of lightning towards, pretty much, well, would have shot some lightning towards uh, Robin. Basically pushing Robin back, knocking him out, still having the same electricity type of damage. Now pretty much Red Tornado shows up, going up against Twister. They start the fight back and forth. Basically, eventually, when Red Tornado gets beaten, we see that it's not Red Tornado, but it's Megan. Pretty much faking being Red Tornado as a plan. Now, pretty much, they get, well, pretty much Twister where they want him to be. And pretty much, Wally and the rest of the team start the double tag or straight up just, you know, straight up beat 
pretty much well red tornado. Now they start beating him up, basically eventually them opening up the suit, seeing as a man inside. But pretty much we see pretty much well well we see Megan pretty much make a rock and squish the man that's in the suit. And basically seeing that well pretty much the rest of the team thinking that Megan killed the man, but seeing that it's just a robotic person. Now basically as they see this and pretty much they congratulate Megan on their whole entire mission or whatever. And basically we switch off from there, basically seeing that well well pretty much it was it Wally and the rest of the team pretty much look over the dead or the short body of Twister. Now basically we see the two scientists that worked on Twister watching cameras from Twister's pretty much body or from the rest of his rebel. And basically Seeing everything from afar and pretty much them talking about the team, especially about the symbiote of all things. Now, basically, we switch off on the end of episode pretty much, well, three when we see Red Tornado still talking to the rest of the team. It's still having the same type of outcome. And basically, well, let's get ended off there for episode three. And we'll on episode four. And episode four will change a big amount, actually. Now, let's switch, let's get right into it, guys. Now we start episode four with pretty much the same beginning with pretty much Bane. Now basically pretty much we see pretty much a man in a cloak or pretty much Bane. Basically Bane get, pretty much going into a cage fight with some sort of serum user. Now basically the beginning of episode four plays it the same way. None of that actually changing in the slightest sense. Well, Robin ain't going to be really interfering with that type of, well, part of the story. And basically, we see pretty much the rest of the team go in their suits on the mission. Basically, the, Robin having a flashback. And pretty much Batman telling them the mission about how this is a recon mission and strictly recon. Basically, it being told the same way. But pretty much Batman telling, ba telling Robin, don't rely on the symbiote too much. Because we pretty much Robin. Batman saying the symbiotes are unreliable sometimes. Basically, he talks and being kind of, you know, angered by this. Now, basically, you see Robin, you know, and the rest of the team getting kind of ready. And basically, you see pretty much Aqualad, you know, execute his part of the plan. Basically, him going into the water and pretty much stick, uh, pretty much taking down the sensors in the f around the island. Now, basically, we see the rest of the team pretty much activate their stealth modes. Basically, Robin going symbiote mode, basically him pretty much going symbiote. Now basically, the only stealth part, pretty much Toxin just made the red on his suit a little bit more darker, the whole, for the whole entire stealth, pretty much, whole entire stealth look. Now basically, pretty much, you see that Syrup Boy is told, you know, if you want to try on the new, you know, tech, di tech digs, it ain't that, you know, pretty much, ain't that bad. Now basically, he pretty much says, I don't do tights or capes. And basically, she says, it totally works for you. Now, basically, they still have the whole time, you know, quirky type of crush, team, crush thing between, you know, Megan and Superboy. It still goes the same. Now, Robin, you know, pretty much swings down Spider-Man style. And basically, gets out of the way when Superboy jumps down, mixing, making a whole little crater underneath his feet. Basically, Robin arguing with him, saying... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole entire stealth mission doesn't include you making a whole seismic event in a matter of two minutes. Basically, him saying, don't do that again. Now, they execute the rest of their plan, basically going against the forest, and pretty much them coming towards the, pretty much. So, basically, um, okay, guys, I did a little bit of a time gap through the last time I recorded this video. Now, let's just get into it. I'm not really going to have a big talk about the time gap, but let's just get into it, guys. Basically, as we see pretty much Robin, you kind of get angry as you're away from making a crater or whatever. Basically, they go on with the rest of their mission, going to the forest, and Aqualad executing the rest of his mission. Pretty much all up into the point, basically, when Robin's at the front of the team, basically leading them to the destination. He's still moving the same way. Him still, him shifting back into his Robin outfit. Basically, them going through the forest. And Sir Boy saying, do you hear that? Basically... Wally's saying, no, we don't have super hearing. And basically, Wally would have tried to ask Robin, and, and you know, hear that, but basically, Robin would be gone. And basically, Robin sneaking out in the forest just like he did in the original. 
And basically, we see pretty much Wally would use his infrared goggles to see pretty much two correlating teams or pretty much enemies pretty much well colliding basically seeing they're both armed and they're about to do a shootout while would have would have gone to pretty much investigate him super speeding over towards the shooting but as he was speeding or as he was running he tripped and basically fell right between the gunfire the gunfire stopped for a little bit but then it started to direct its gunfire or it's pretty much well most of its well ammo towards the rest of the team and basically robin stepping in using a lot of his symbiote abilities to basically grab all the henchmen and take them out kind of like carnage did in the pretty much uh, as spoilers for the venom 2 movie at this point it's not really spoilers if you haven't seen the movie like you just don't want to see it at this point but basically we basically see pretty much well robin use talks in the same way pretty much cletus used the used the carnage in the jail breaking scene basically him using well basically his what was it him basically using his tentacles in multiple different ways, basically grabbing villains and throwing them around. And basically, pretty much, well, Robin dodging more of the villains' attacks. Now, pretty much, as they were trying to run away, some of them were trying to run away, they'd all get taken down, basically, they may taken out a little bit quicker since it would be the help of Robin and the symbiote, or Toxin. And basically, as they tie them up, basically, pretty much, well, Robin and the rest of the team would still argue about you know, team leader and everything, and talk, and pretty much Robin saying I should be team leader. Now, uh, Robin and Wally would have still argued about being team leader the same way. Basically, Robin saying, "You really think you're stronger or faster, man? Please." Basically, his uh, basically the symbiote going over only Robin's face. Basically, pretty much Wally is saying that symbiote doesn't make you stronger. Basically, him. Pretty much chuckling and Robin saying, really? Now basically, we see Superboy over here. Pretty much a conversation between the one of the thugs or one of Bane's henchmen. Pretty much them talking. Now basically, Superboy would have smirked at this and gained a little bit of, and a little bit of information. And pretty much the rest of the team coming across, well, Bane. Now basically, Bane would have, you know, told them, would have pretty much tried to, what was it? mess with them basically megan trying to read bane's mind but seeing that it wasn't working since bane was trained his mind not to be read him thinking about another thing as he's talking about something else and basically pretty much the team tried to well well make a kind of a uh, alignment or a pretty much well a team a team up with bane basically bane leading them to the warehouse or the facility where the cobra are at now basically as they're led there, pretty much Robin or Toxin doesn't sense doesn't sense anything good from Bane. Basically, him looking at Bane, and before they went on with the rest of the mission, Toxin was telling Robin to just take out Bane right where he stands. Basically, them looking at the facility from a mountain away. Basically, pretty much Robin, pretty much showing this idea, saying I'm, we might need him. Now, basically, Ro Bane shows him an entrance towards the tunnels, into the facility and basically as we do as this is happening basically robin would have tried to act on this since he are since we already got you know pretty much led into the facility basically robin was about to take out bane basically using his tentacle to just knock out bane or strangle him until he fades faints but basically he would shrug it off saying that we don't do it like that basically him going going in front of the rest of the mission him going symbiote mode him going into a symbiote form. Now basically he would start the swing and climb on the ceiling and basically going super stealth mode. And basically him pretty much watching everything from afar. Now basically we see Robin would get sneak into the pretty much computer room, taking down the guards there, basically getting the information that he needed about the talks and about what they were working on here. Basically a combination of the venom and the pretty much talks and bane uses. Or pretty much the toxin that was used for pretty much Blockbuster. Make it a more perfect serum that will make you more stronger and durable, and durable than anything else. Basically being a more superior version than both serums. Now basically, pretty much, we see that, you know, Ron will get the, much, the information that he needed. And pretty much, we see Sportsmaster from a helicopter show up to pretty much, well, do the deal. And basically take the serum, or pretty much buy the serum from the Kobes. And basically, as they were talking about this, Sportsmaster would have seen something in the distance or in the sky, 
pretty much referring to Megan, but he wouldn't really act on it yet. And basically, Megan would have sent a mental message or mental image to Aqualad, showing that Sportsmaster was here. Basically, Aqualad telling them, you know, we have to be on our guard. Basically, I'm saying the same thing over again. But as Bane was overhearing this, Bane, you know, thought of, Bane pretty much pulled the quickie he did last time. Basically, him jumping off of the railing they were at, that we were spying at. Basically, finding the Cobra Guards, leading, one of the Cobra Guards shooting their guns off, alerting the people outside. Basically, the other guy that was using the enhanced venom and blockbuster serum that jumped through the building that he the, the guy that at the beginning of the episode basically started to jump through the building or jumped uh through the glass of the building basically trying or pretty much going up against sewer boy and aqua would have gone up against the rest of the pretty much armed cobra cobra people and basically Megan would have flown into the building trying to help but basically the sports master would have seen her and would have thrown a spear towards her she would have injured the same way Basically, as this is happening, Robin and Aqualad, Robin and Wally would have showed up. Now, basically, Robin would have used his tentacles to take down the guards pretty quickly. Basically, him telling Megan, are you okay? Megan would have said yes and would have sent a mental message to the rest of the team. But basically, Robin would have used his tentacles to pretty much fight back. But then he would pretty much find his way outside of the building, coming across the same skinny girl with a cobra leader. And basically, he would have he would have been in his Robin suit instead of his symbiote suit at this point. Basically, him going up against the girl before he was told to you know move it out of the mission. Basically, Toxin went against that and actually blocked out the radio comms that Robin was trying to, was listening to. And basically, Robin didn't hear anything from Aqualad, or Toxin blocked it out. And basically, Toxin pretty much urged or urged Robin to take this girl out. The girl tried to run towards Robin. Robin dodged her, throwing her by the, the groom, grabbing her from the back of her shirt and chucking her into the helicopter they were fighting next to. Basically, him grinding her face into the helicopter. Now, Robin would have actually, what was it? Toxin would have told Robin, pretty much, you know, the we got to get out of here. And Robin would have said, fine. Basically, him chucking the skinny girl towards the cover master and him throwing a smoke bomb and pretty much swinging away into the shadows. And basically... You see, pretty much the rest of the team pretty much do a kind of a, what was it, a infiltration, or not really infiltration, but a prestigious retreat, they're basically just a retreat, basically them getting away from the people, then blocking up the tunnels behind them, basically keeping them from at bay. Now basically as they, you know, block off the tunnels, pretty much they start to talk the same way they did about who should be team leader. Now basically Toxin is more calm-headed and knows that Pretty much, he doesn't want to be team leader since he'll have to make more dire decisions. Plus, he already has to help and pretty much work alongside Robin. Now, basically, pretty much, well, what happens here is pretty much the situation gets dialed down. And basically, they eventually, well, come to the conclusion that Aqualad should be the team leader. Now, basically, Aqualad takes this and pretty much becomes a team leader. And basically, we switch to the rest of the episode. Basically, them having a certain small plan. As they're getting out of the building, basically you see pretty much Bane in the way, basically him saying the same thing about how he was going to blow, pretty much block them off into inside the tunnel. And basically, you know, Bane was, you know, pumped on serum. Basically him, you know, about to, well, press the detonator to block them off in the tunnel. But basically, Robin pretty much was given... Was it the go to go up against Bane instead of Wally? Basically, Robin using his tentacles to pretty much knock, pretty much rock, pretty much knock Bane cold. Basically, Bane pretty much falling down to the ground, getting a little bit more consciousness, trying to get back up. But Superboy would have jumped in, drop kicking pretty much Bane into the ground. Now, basically, as this happens, Bane is taken out, and basically, Bane is webbed up by Toxin or by Robin. But basically, Robin would have been in his Toxin form. And pretty much the rest of the team would have jumped in doing their plan as original. Basically, Zero Boy, pretty much Zero Boy, Aqualad, jumping in first, flying up against the Cobra. And basically, the t the guy from the beginning of the episode, or the Toxin guy, I'm probably going to call him the Toxin guy or whatever. Basically, they start to fight, Aqualad starts to fight him. Megan phases into the ship, pretty much looking around, and basically, her trying to get the jump on Sportsmaster. But Sportsmaster gets her instead. Basically, pairing her in chokehold and still shooting his laser beams towards Superboy. Now, pretty much, Wally takes multiple of the guards down, and pretty much, we see that pretty much instead of you know the whole entire gadgets, basically, Robin shoots a web 
towards pretty much, or towards pretty much a tentacle towards the skinny girl, pretty much mobilizing her. Robin goes for a kick and a flip right towards, you know, Sportsmaster, but sees that Sportsmaster overpowers him or kicks him back. Basically, you'll see that Sportsmaster wasn't playing, and Toxin would have said, I'll give you a little bit more strength. Basically, his venom or his symbiote form still being the same type of, you know, skinny body is like Toxin's normal form is. But it would be a little bit more stronger, him accessing a little bit more strength, a little bit of strength from the whole entire monster for a whole entire monster form of the toxin symbiote. Basically, as is, as he's about to go up against Cobra Master, we see pretty much Megan and Superboy go up against Sportsmaster even more. But basically, eventually Sportsmaster gets away in his helicopter, and pretty much Megan would have said, "Don't worry." Basically, her setting off a detonator that was planted in the helicopter by her. Basically blowing it up and pretty much Sportsmaster making pretty much a last effort to escape. Basically him grabbing the chute and getting out of the building or getting out of another building, but out of the helicopter saving himself. Now basically, as we see this, pretty much we see pretty much Sportsmaster go up against Robin. Instead of this version of Robin being floated by Sportsmaster, the Robin will start to go up against Sportsmaster even faster than original. Basically him having more speed, agility, durability, and strength than he did before. Basically him Throwing more punches over time, over time, over time, again and again, ruthlessly towards pretty much the cover leader. Now, basically, he would have started to dodge more and more attacks, basically seeing that, you know, it was kind of, you know, more of a just straight up more strength approach. But I want to see that this whole entire brutal or like sh more strength approach was working and would have started to pretty much merge the strength and speed he has, the superhumanness he has now, plus his Robin and his Batman training. Basically, him sprinting towards sport, sprinting towards pretty much a core leader more vigorously and more pretty much, well, more trichastic, more churta. I can't really pronounce it. More gracefully, if you could say. Basically, him throwing more punches, kicks, flips, and also using a little bit of his whipping, uh, pretty much, uh, him wh whipping manipulation on his symbiote making pretty much a symbiote bow staff that has blades on the bottom of it. Basically him hitting more attacks towards force, towards the Cobra leader, actually cutting him through the chest. Not through the chest, but across the chest. Cobra Master would have got it angered and pretty much would have punched a really, well, accurate pressure point in, deck, in pretty much Robin's chest, basically catching the symbiote off guard and pushing Robin down to the ground, making the symbiote retreat back into Robin's body. Now basically what would have happened is Robin would have gotten back up after the rest of the team would have showed up. And basically they would have tried to take down Cobra Master. Cobra Master would have backed up in the shadows and basically he would have disappeared. And basically the rest of the team, Robin would have been, you know, great. The whole civility, those, the whole place is burned to the ground. It's supposed to be a recon, but I don't know what happened. But basically we switched back to pretty much the next day or in the morning. Basically us saying pretty much Batman you know, scold the team about how this was supposed to be a recon mission, but it barely went that way. Now, basically, we see pretty much Robin, well, pretty much Robin is confused, and the rest of the team is confused after Batman actually congratulates them, or says that the mission didn't go as planned, but what the, what the first mission does. Now, basically, we pretty much see Robin is kind of proud of himself alongside uh, Aqualad. Now, basically, we switch to the end of the episode, Pretty much us seeing Sportsmaster say that I only got one vial of the serum. And basically, one of the Cobra, one of the lights, one of the people, members on the light, basically say it could be, it could easily be, um, was it redesigned or re-altered or pretty much broken down so they can make more of it. And basically, we see the light still talks, but one of them mentioned the symbiote. And pretty much, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. Originally, I was gonna do three episodes, like episode five. I'm going to pretty much, well, leave episode 5 and 6 for part 2. I mean, part 3. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And stay tuned for part 2 of what if Ghost Rider was in Young Justice. See you guys later. Bye. Do this. And as always, guys, have a blessed day.